for so I feel I feel like there's three different categories of makeup. You have your like basic, you know, skincare, super minimal, simple makeup routine. Then you can have your like everyday uh, makeup routine with a little bit more coverage. And then you can have a full on glam face. Um, and then you can do like, I guess the fourth one could be like, you know, extra costume, glam, drag, makeup. But um, what I love about this product is that I can go from simple natural skincare makeup to like every day to then glam because it's a buildable product with two different options um and this is wonder beauty dualist uh concealer um we've got two different options here we have this one which is the um the more dewy finish right so we have like the uh liquid the, it's called the illuminating liquid side um and then on the other end we have the matte stick um, and the matte stick is more of a creamy finish, so it actually is a lot more, um, has a lot more coverage in my opinion than the illuminating liquid one. The illuminating liquid one almost reminds me of like a opaque tinted um, like skincare or serum of some sort. So it's nice and light um, and it just looks really good and it looks really natural. So I usually always start off with um, this portion of it and when I want to build up then I will build up with that as well or go straight to my matte stick which is going to give me more of a creamier um deeper coverage um and it's perfect for a glam look as well and I'm going to go and grab my concealer brush for this um and not use my fingers because I feel like it's going to get everywhere concealer brush I can be more precise with it um and so I'm going to show you guys what this looks like just just doing this so I always put the inner corner because I always bring it up and I always bring it up over my lids as well. And this is also going to help prep my lips, my lips, my lids for eyeshadow. And we're if we're going in for a glam look, we're going to go in for some glam eyeshadow. So it's important to prep your lids as well. You can always use a primer for your lids as well. But I find that whenever I use like a concealer or something like that, or especially a concealer with a matte finish, um, it acts like a... Um, a primer for my lids. Um, so here's with a natural, like, you know, skin care everyday concealed, like, version looks like, which I like. I don't mind, you know, using this. Um, I have also come from a background where I used to, like, conceal to the gods, and it would be a super bright concealer, so I was always snatched um, and um, contoured a lot. Um, so I understand if your preference is to go for a greater beat on the face, um, which we're gonna we're gonna talk through right now too. So again, this is like more of a natural, nice finish. I feel like it's just simple. Um, by the way, we're tomorrow and the day after. We're gonna go through different options for makeup again too. So tomorrow I'm actually gonna be recreating a fun celebrity like look, um, and so that's gonna be even more of a glamorous look, and. Um, and I'll even talk me through jewelry and clothes. And so a little bit more than just makeup. And then on Thursday, I'm going to be talking through a simple laid back everyday um, beauty routine and beauty using beauty products. Um, kind of some things that I've already touched on, but some other products that I have not mentioned just yet um, for that like everyday look um, that's effortless. And um, you're looking like a, you know, skincare influencer. But anyways, because we're glamoring, glamming up, um, we're gonna go in with this matte side because we're, we want to we want more coverage. We want to really like bright under eye. And so usually when we're doing a bright under eye, what I like to do is do a kind of like V situation, pull it up and then pull it down a little bit more from here. And go super up there. As you see, this is thicker, it's creamier. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Um, what I also love to do is get multiple concealers in case I want to vary my shade. Um, so I don't have that right now, but normally what I would do is even get a brighter shade than this one, because this is more of like my natural um, skin tone to match. Um, but for a glam look, I would love to have like even an even brighter under eye area, which I'm gonna actually pull one of my other concealers to help with that. But um, 
I love Duelist, this Wonder Beauty one so much that I would definitely invest in getting another shade in this product for a super bright under eye. Um, this is my everyday concealer. For a glam look, we want like super dramatic um, right under eye area. Okay. And I'm just blending this out so it looks all natural on my face. Okay, I'm gonna use something that's a little bit more brighter to get some more um in there. And I even have actually even have an even brighter shade than this sometimes that I use for like super super glam coverage and just brightness. I feel like that brightness under the eye makes a more dramatic difference when it comes to dramatic eyeshadow. Um, so we're actually going to be running out of time soon, so I don't know if I'll be able to get to everything, but, um, again, if you can't hang out for everything, and as I can't hang out for this entire process, possibly, um, I'm going to try my best to get through everything to get to the, the glam. Um, you can always check out all the products in the lower right-hand corner. There is an icon with four little squares on it. If you click on that, you'll see the whole collection for this live stream that I recommend for products, um. And these are all such great products for creating, like, a very fun glam look and finish. Um, okay. So now that's done, I'm concealed. Um, I want to go ahead and set my face. What I usually always use is I love setting with, and as I'm getting older, I have more mature skin. I don't like to, like, set, bake and set it. Um, I do, like, a thing where I just call, like, lightly dusting. <laughs> Um, and so I'm just using this old, um, well, not, it's, it's, I have this small container, but I always constantly refill it with, um, translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Um, and I love using this like feathery brush, um, because it allows me to apply a small amount as opposed to like baking the crap out of my face, which doesn't work for me. Um, and as you get older, you'll notice that your skin, um, needs different things and different techniques and I used to bake once upon a time but now I don't um and so I literally tap my brush in get some of that powder going and you can see how much product I'm actually getting on there it's very light so I'm doing a light dusting and brushing and sweeping away I'm not letting the product sit there in like um copious amounts um but just literally dusting it on and brushing the excess away immediately so it's not drying out my skin um and this is pretty much my face this is the perfect set for applying color and getting more glam on there now mm. while i finish dusting my face um the next thing i would do is i go to work on my eyeshadow sometimes